the sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residence and its forgotten history. my dives looking for mantis shrimp, I came across a really cool item. I tied my rec reel to it, went back to the surface for a fresh tank and a lift bag. And I figured this would be a great opportunity to show you guys what a little bit of light salvage is all about. It's a large 65 to 70 pound anchor. What was strange is there was no chain connected to it. It's possible it rotted away or this fell off of a boat that was passing by. The first thing I needed to do was to find a place to secure my lift bag. The shackle looked like it was still in good shape. This is a 100 pound lift bag. A lift bag is basically a bag that's upside down. When you put air inside of it, depending on how much you put in, it creates lift. I'll open this bag up, but before I inflate it, I'm going to tie one of my bow lines around the anchor in an effort to control it and drag it to the anchor line. If you're not careful with how much air you put in the bag, the anchor could shoot right to the surface, and with a bag like this that isn't closed on the bottom, it's possible it could come right back down on you. So you have to be really careful and think two or three steps ahead when doing these kinds of operations. Now that I'm confident that my lift bag is secured to the anchor and I have a rope around the anchor to control it, I'm ready to use my octopus or my second regulator to fill the lift bag. You have to be careful as the bag will take off if you put too much air in. This lift bag has a little dump so that I can dump air out of the top. Our goal is to make the anchor neutral to where it doesn't float away but it doesn't sink. Just enough to bounce right on the bottom of the ocean floor weightlessness basically. As you can see we've achieved neutral buoyancy. So now I can make my way back to the anchor line and drag the anchor behind me like a little red wagon. I tie the anchor to the anchor line so as I do my ascent it's always going to stay with me and the boat. I keep the anchor on the opposite side of the anchor line so that if the bag fails, it will not drop on top of me. It will fall down the anchor line back to the floor. As we ascend, I have to keep an eye on the lift bag, making sure that it's not getting away from me and going to the surface too rapidly. There is still a risk of coming up too fast, so small dumps will progressively slow the ascent.
now close to the surface, it's important that the lift bag does not break the surface, dump its air, and fall back down. Here we are at the surface as I swim the anchor over to the side of the boat to where Jason will help me lift it in. Light salvage is a specialty for advanced open water certification. This anchor was lost a few years ago at the bottom of 55 feet and now it's going to be in the back of my pickup truck for probably a week and a half. But we got our anchor. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check us out on squallsmarine.com. Thanks so much.